Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Fernandes pa Paris. Uh, today I'm going to present you one recipe uh, from our culinary program, Intensive French Cuisine. Okay, so this recipe is one of the recipes that we teach to our students uh, after a few, few weeks. Uh, we, we start by the basic, the cuttings, then the soup, the starter, and then we, when we arrive to the fish uh, courses, this is one of them. So it will be, I'm going to present you a recipe uh, of uh, grilled salmon uh, served with uh, a fennel it's going to be cooked in different way and uh, also will be served with one of the traditional uh, French uh, sauce which is the Béarnais, one of the most uh, popular French uh, sauce in, uh, in our culture, culinary culture. Okay, so let's cook together guys. Okay, so we're going to start by doing our Béarnais. Okay, so So basically, we're going to combine our shallots, chopped shallots, very finely chopped. We have a little bit of crushed paper, okay, not too much, okay. Then we're going to moisten that with vinegar, okay. This is white vinegar. This one is made with the uh, tarragon vinegar and normal white wine. Okay. And just to flavor that, we're going to add a little bit of fresh tarragon. A little voilà, a stem of tarragon that we will remove after and a little bit of chervil too. Voilà. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. Voilà, so this part is the reduction, okay? So the idea is to let it cook very gently until it's completely dry, but not burned. And then after, with that, I will show you, we're gonna make a, a sabayon with egg yolk, water, and we're gonna cook it, okay? So as I said, the garnish will be made out uh, of fennel, which basically is now a very popular vegetable, so the idea uh, is to bring you a, a different flavor of what you get used, okay, and cook it in different way. So basically, we're going to cut, use only the center. Just shape it properly be able to have a nice shape and nice presentation. Voilà. And with the trimmings, I'm going to use the trimmings to do two different recipes. Okay. So basically, this, this center, okay, I'm going to glaze it. with some fennel juice made out of the trimmings. So just I moisten my fennel half to half level, halfway, yeah. Then a pinch of salt. And using a parchment paper, I'm gonna cook that very gently. Five minutes on both sides, I will flip it halfway to finish the cooking until it's completely uh, completely cooked, okay? And with the trimmings, two options. The first one, I'm gonna make a, a salad with the raw, very lightly, using a mandoline. And also I can use this part to season my salad also. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to keep that in the fridge, and I will season it a la minute with olive oil, espalette paper, and that will be my garnish on the top of this uh, fennel. And with the leftover of trimmings, I'm just going to just slice it thinly. The idea is to use all the, the fennels, okay, to avoid a, any waste. Okay. So, of course, the leftover, as I said, through a, ju through a juicer to get a, a fennel juice, and we will use it gently. Once my trimming is chopped properly, I'm just going to sweat it with olive oil. Season it with salt, a little bit of paper. Same. And I'm going to let it cook gently. Okay. Using a parchment paper, we cook slowly. Yeah. Here I'm checking my big pieces of fennel and start to flip them. Well, basically, it's going to take 10 to 15 minutes to be uh, completely cooked. Okay, so now our, our reduction is ready. So we're gonna just set it on the side, okay? Just to cool it down a little bit. Our fennel is cooked too. Huh? It's easy to check huh? with a knife pin. Voila, it's soft and nice. Same for the, our trimmings. So that we're gonna build our fennel after, okay? And then now we're gonna cook our um, some fire. Okay so. okay, so in a boiling water, we just blanch it. No salt huh, because they are very salty naturally. So, and just get ready to shock them with a. Ice water. So basically just one boiling and you can leave them al dente. Eh? It's a little bit crunchy, it's perfect for what we need to do today. We'll allow us also to keep the greenness of the vegetable. Wow, just like that. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. And here, what I can do is just to build already a little bit my fennel. Oh, I'm 
just brought a layer of quick fill Fusion fire over there. And then just cover it with the parchment paper ready to be warm up. Set aside. And now we're gonna do the bearnaise. Okay. So as you can see. My mix is not completely dry, it's still a little bit liquid. And now I can remove my stems, okay? I don't need that. I'm gonna add two egg yolk. Two egg yolk. And for each egg yolk, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water. Voila, we combine everything together. And we're gonna whisk to make a sabayon and to cook it very slowly on a low heat. Yeah, the goal is not to reach more than 68 degrees to avoid to get uh, scrambled eggs. Okay, what we need is just uh, a smooth sabayon. So once I'm gonna see the bottom of my sauce pot each time I whisk, I will get outside the fire to finish to cook my sabayon. Here you are, exactly what we are looking for. As you can see, each time I whisk, I can see the bottom of my sauce pot. Now I'm gonna add the clarified butter. Outside the fire.
And now I'm going to finish my béarnaise by adding my fresh herbs and correct the seasoning. So I just need a little bit of chervo, a little bit of tarragon, and a little bit of uh, flat parsley. I'm going to combine all of the herbs together and just chop them. And you do that at the last moment to avoid the, the herbs to get to turn brown. Voila. the seasoning and my bernaise is ready and I can keep it on a warm place not too hot okay or on to bamarish okay so now we're gonna grill the salmon okay so first of so first of all we are just marinated very quickly with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, a twist of espalet paper or, or paper, whatever you have, and just I'm gonna coat my salmon into the oil. Voila. I'm going to lightly grease my grill and I'm going to grill my salmon. So, putting the salmon diagonally and leave it about one minute before to turn it to get a nice uh, grid. Make sure your, your grill is very hot, but not, over, not too hot either, okay, to avoid to burn your salmon. Oh. Because if it's too cold, it will, it will stick into the grill. Just place them in a small tray voilà. and I can add a little bit of thyme just like that. To flavor it a little bit. A little bit of oil. And I'm going to finish the cooking in your oven in a few, few minutes. OK, 
Okay, so now as, as everything is ready, we're gonna start the, to plate the, the dish, okay? So basically, our fennel, we're gonna finish it with the salad. So the, the raw fennel that we cut with the mandolin thinly, we're gonna season it with some olive oil. Mm -hmm. A little bit of fleur de sel, espelette paper, voila. And also, a little bit of some fire on that. We're gonna finish that on the top of our fennel. All right. You can add a few. Alberna sauce. Okay. So we miss it. Alors, there's two schools actually on the Bernays. You can sell uh, with, with the garnish, with the peppercorn, the, the shallots, as I done. Otherwise, you can sieve it also. But I prefer it this way with the peppercorn, which going to give a, a nice kick to the dish, okay? Spot. And we'll do the finishing with a little bit of espalette paper. A few garlic flowers to give a little bit of colors to the dish. Slice chips of onions and also we have a little bit of yuzu gel, it is a yuzu gel juice who has been thickened with some agar agar, well, a small condiment to give a nice uh, freshness to the dish. And that's it. Thanks to follow this demonstration. Uh, hope you enjoy it and I hope uh, to see you soon in Fernley one day. Goodbye.